So this is the headset that we will be using for this VR simulation. This is the Oculus Quest 2. And it's the first um, standalone VR headset that Oculus has made. Today I am connected to the computer just to get a better experience uh, when I uh, exemplify this simulation. Um, but um, this is a very, very easy to use $300 headset that you may have already used for gaming in the past. Again, it's not a prerequisite to ever have used VR. Um, this is a very simple device and I'm going to show you how to use it. So this is an elastic band and this, when you move them away from each other, it makes it tighter. And when you move them close to each other, uh, it makes them, it makes them loose. Uh, you can set it up to your head. It needs to be comfortable. This is rule number one of VR. You need to feel comfortable. You need to feel that your headset is not in the way. Uh, it's not too tight. It's not too loose. If you move your head side to side or up and down, it doesn't move. And more important than anything, that anything that is written, like words for uh, instructions, it will be very, very sharp. If, if they are not sharp, please just... Um, um, Move your headset a little bit up and down, a little bit side to side until you find sharpness, okay? You may or may not use uh, reader glasses. Uh, you may use them in the VR as well. So here we have only two controls. We have the power button here on the side and we have the volume that you use here uh, with your thumb at uh, the bottom uh, right. Okay, uh, the only other um, control that you have is the separation of the lenses. There are three levels of separation. I think I'm in the middle one. You move them uh, um, um, depending on the size of your head and the separation of your eyes to closer position or middle position or far position. My preference, my personal preference is middle, but you could consider playing with this um, setting um, depending on your level of comfort. Now let's move to the most important part of the, of the, of the system, which is the hand controllers. The hand controllers do very specific things. Uh, we have programmed this simulation so that uh, whenever you press a particular button, it does a particular action in VR. So these are left-handed and right-handed. You could use the simulation as a left-hander dentist or a, le or a right-handed dentist. And the controllers are um, um, as follows. Main button is the trigger button. The main trigger button is your index finger. And you use this to grab um, elements in the uh, VR space. If you approach the syringe and click um, the trigger button, then you will hold it in space. And then if you release, it will be released from your hand. There is another trigger also called um, um, hand trigger that you activate with your middle finger in both hands. We only use this once in the VR simulation to pull back the harpoon because there is no way to physically pull back the harpoon. Uh, so we had to um, um, program it with this button. The buttons for your thumb are the most important ones. They are labeled A, B on your right and X and Y on your left and they do very particular things, you will know what to do when you are in VR. There is also a joystick that can be pressed and can be moved up and down and side to side exactly the same way that um, a gaming um, controller would do. Now, the most important thing for a good experience doing what you need to do in VR is the resting position of your thumb. The resting position of your thumb is not thumb up is not a thumb on the side. Your thumb must rest 
at all times when you are not using not pressing any buttons it must rest right next to the A and B buttons in the right controller and the X and Y buttons in the left controller. If you don't, if you rest it a little bit away from that position, your virtual hands will always permanently show a thumbs up sign, which of course is very um, awkward when, when doing uh, the VR experience. Please be sure that both your thumbs at all times when they are not pressing a button, they are resting next to the two buttons on each side.